welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are doing this face and yes we did go up and down a roller coaster trying to get this look together um but basically this is first impressions affordable drugstore makeup and if you guys want to keep on watching and see the final result which you guys are seeing it then make sure you keep on watching let's get started so the first thing that i'm going to be using is the mara badescu spray which just looks like this and we're gonna go ahead and prime our face for our makeup i'm gonna go ahead and use the nyx pore filler primer base which just looks like this like that um and i really really hide my pores give me a really smooth canvas to start with so for my brows i am going to be using the revlon color stay brow pencil in 220 which is a dark brown this is a mechanical brow pencil which is good because i like mechanical pencils versus just the regular old-fashioned pencil and this does have a spoolie on the side and of course your brow product what i'm going to do is going to brush my brows going upwards just like so and start lining my brow this is very creamy like very very creamy just like that and then i'm gonna go upwards to kind of mimic the hairs that i have on my brows so let me know if you guys are liking this kind of distance between us um we're practicing social distancing just let me know that way in next video if I have to come a little closer or how do you guys like it better I also I kind of like it this way because you guys get to see the full picture um, versus just seeing like a little portion of my eye um, but just let me know how you guys prefer this um, that way I can improve you know and I'm gonna grab the spoolie this brow pencil is actually very very good and very surprisingly i am liking it it's very very creamy but it's not the creamy that's just gonna slide all over the place it does have a little like a wax texture um to really you know mimic the hair stroke very lightly so just like that also versus uh, no brows and um, brows versus no brows is it does come in like a flat angle situation um but when you do use it it does get a little bit dull um but if you kind of just maneuver the pencil here and there back and forth um it gets a little pointier on one side and then you just kind of flip it on the other side um it's not that bad you know start cleaning up my brows a little bit and the concealer that i'm going to be using um is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Um, and I'm basically gonna be using this to clean my brows. Believe that all the wax kits are like literally sold out in Amazon and online at Ulta. It's just, I've been going crazy, you know, since we can't get our brows done. Um, I was letting them grow. But they were getting a little bit too out of control so i needed to find a solution on how to fix this problem um and of course i went on ulta.com and i read some reviews and saw some products that were very encouraging um one of them was the nats it's called um i think it's nats n-a-d-s um and it was like a pencil wax um and i read reviews about it some people did not like it but there was a lot of people that actually said hey this gets the job done like it's pretty good so i decided to get that um and i am not mad um uh, i kind of used it the other day um to kind of clean up my brows from like my lid um, I didn't frame it too much, but I did clean around it so it didn't look too bushy all over the place. And it actually got the job done. Like, who is she? A whole arch expert out here. Um, 
so if you guys are looking for something in the market just because wax kits are sold out go ahead and try the nads probably gonna put a picture here or i would definitely link it down below um that way you guys can try it um and it is a little terrifying if you've never done it um only because you know you don't want to screw up your brows but at the same time you know just experiment do it you can do it you can do it and for my primer i am also going to be using the concealer to prime my eyes so i'm going to get a little bit and go ahead and prime my eyes and the shade that i am using is 365 cashew and i'm just going to pat it eyeshadow palettes i am going to be using this um, uh what is this called sueva bonjour matte palette um it's this little 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 tiny thing here um and these are the colors of it so it's probably going to be probably plummy orangey along those lines so i'm going to go in with across the street which is basically this nice beige ivory color um and i'm just going to set my whole eyelid from top to bottom the next shade that i am going to be using is going to be uh urban culture which is this matte well they're all matte but this is a kind of like um beige color like a taupe color and i'm going to put this all in my transition these are also very very powdery it definitely has a lot of fallout so we'll see so i'm gonna place this here i'm gonna place it in my crease and then blend it just like so applying it it looks gray but i have a lot of fallout i don't know if you guys can see there but it is tremendous so it's morphe 518 brush and i'm gonna go in with through the window which is this kind of popsicle orange right here there are they're definitely not that pigmented like i really have to go in the pan and get that color and kind of dust it off a little just because it is powdery blend it afterwards because if not, we're going to be here for a long time. <laughs> very, very nicely on the hand. But now that you're, now that I'm putting it to the test, they take a lot to um, show up. I'm going to go in with Shy Latte at night. And this is a also another orange color, but it is a more in the darker side. Um, so I'm also going to be putting that all over my crease. Morphe M330. And I'm going to go in and get some chai latte. Chai latte. Okay, now this one is pigmented. Like, hello. I am here to party. This color. Now this color. We are working, girl. Yes. Should I it out? to deepen it up a little i am gonna grab a cheap bar and kind of put it in my outer corner so i'm gonna grab this this one is also very powdery and i'm applying this right in the outer okay so this is not doing nothing <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see but nothing is happening so i'm gonna have to just leave it alone only good shade in this palette is definitely chai latte at night which is this one here but other than that all the other ones are not good i'm gonna put a little bit of glitter in the center what do you guys think should i or should i not should i or should i not i'm gonna do it so the glitter i'm gonna be using is by elf and this is in flirty birdie big color like how cute is this? And I'm just gonna do it like a little halo eye. And it's not perfect, so don't judge me. The shade that I'm gonna be using is the Revolution Conceal and Define in F10. I hope that this is a great match. Oh, I think it might work. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Um, and this one is this is how it looks. It has a doe foot. Now this reminds me a lot of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation, um, just because of the application and also the bottle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just do what I normally do. To put, oh, uh, it's a little light now, so I don't know now. I think it's gonna be a little light. Oh no. I'm gonna be using my Beaky sponge. And these I did purchase from Amazon and they will be considered affordable since it comes in a pack of five for $8.99. Like, come on. <gasps> oh, girl, this is too light. Oh my God. This is not good. Yeah. I'm gonna look like Casper the ghost. Damn it. Okay, so we're going to have to do something here because we can't look like Casper the Ghost. Oh my God. Whoa there. Definitely too light. Too, too, too light. So I'm going to go again with the NYX Pore Filler Pr Primer and I'm going to go ahead and prime my face again because that was atrocious. Oh God. And with the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, Full Coverage um foundation which looks like this um alrighty so let's try this again I'm gonna blend it I kinda don't like these that are in a tube like they drive me crazy but whatever alright I still have like that white cast and it's driving me crazy This is, oh my god, I feel like, <laughs> oh my, I don't know, I don't know guys, I feel like I see that white cast and it's like, it's, it's making me terrified, but we will make this work, that's the last thing I do today. And this foundation has SPF 50, so it's really good for the summertime. It's also, I look so pale. Like, who am I kidding here? This is also a natural finish. I'm gonna put a little bit more and see. I think I got dark, guys. Like, really dark. I wasn't playing when I tell you that I tan so easily. Like, I would look probably sick right now on camera. It's definitely very, very light, or I don't know if this is the lights, but I am gonna warm it up with some of this. And I'm just gonna, this is what I do, so don't judge me. I know you're probably like, what are you doing, Diana? But this is how you make a foundation a little bit darker without going too too far and then I'm going to also put it all around my perimeters well we were going great until we got the wrong shade so I'm just going to go ahead and warm up my forehead because it is really light and then up here and my nails and here on the middle lip I always do that I put a little bit here now that you kind of have written all over yourself you go in and I blend it out I am not happy right now like I'm so sad. Like how, how did this happen? I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. All right. So now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, and I'm gonna go very lightly just because the foundation is a little bit light, so we don't want it to 
really throw, throw it off again. So just like that. And guys, I know my foundation is light, so please, please, don't let, tell me that my foundation is light because I already know my foundation is light. Like, homegirl knows her foundation is light. <laughs> but we're making it work. We're going to make it work. Powder, I am going to be using the original RCMA powder um, and basically setting my under eye. So I'm going to let that bake for a couple seconds and not too long. And the bronzer that I'm going to be using today is from L'Oreal. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I did a swatch and I didn't see nothing different. So we're going to find together how it looks. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to get the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And I am going to... Set my face a little bit here. I feel like I'll be this straight now for real. Okay. Just toss that off. And now I'm going to go in with... And this is in the shade. It's just the bronze one. It doesn't have... Oh, it's in the shade medium. So let's give it a whirl swirl here. And it's a little bit orange. Like a little bit orange for my liking. Like it is either a little bit too warm or it's too gray. And this is definitely a little bit warm than I prefer. I like a little bit more toned down just because this looks a little bit more like a a blush for me alrighty so I'm going to go ahead and take this powder because I don't want to set it for too long and take it off so this is as best as it's going to get like I feel this is the only thing with drugstore like it can go really really good or it can go really really bad and I feel like I'm in the really really bad section right now <laughs> like I am not liking this but you know we're just gonna continue because you never know where we're gonna end For the blush I am gonna be using the Milani Dolce pink I actually like this like it gives like a nice you know blush to it Ooh, which I agree. And this one has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I can see that reflection happening. Um, so I'm just going to really buff it out. Just like that. Not, and I can see, I don't know. But I'm looking at the viewfinder and I feel like it has a white cast here. I don't know. You guys can tell me. Let me know. But I really feel like I see that cast. This is why... This one. Oh, we do Shy Latte underneath my lower lash. And I have. A little bit. I'm looking. It's a little bit too orange. So I'm going to grab a more kind of flat brush just like this. And I'm going to go in again with a Lonely City. I'm just gonna really pack it near the lash line just like that I'm gonna prime my lashes first and I am gonna be using the volumes primer by L'Oreal and prime my lashes first give it a good coat supposedly this is gonna condition your lashes is that what it says Lightweight primer instantly creates a blowout effect, building dramatic volume and length of each lash. Lashes are a delicate, wrapped and smooth layer of primer to create an even base that will boost the effects of your favorite L'Oreal Paris Mascara. 
So we will see if that was what it does. It's supposed to. So they are looking a little bit more volume and they're looking a little bit more length. And I did not curl them, so. I want to know, does it make a difference? Some people say they totally does the difference and I want to know if it does make a difference in your lashes. Telescopic waterproof mascara, which looks like this. Let's take it out of the packaging. Let's give this a good coat to my lashes. Okay, it definitely, oh god, it's, I'm not liking it. First impression, it's definitely created that glumpy situation. It's reminding me, like if I do the primer and this, it's reminding me of Better Than Sex mascara. And that is not one of my favorite mascaras, so... So I give it a good lash coat there. Um, honestly, I don't see a difference. I feel like, well, I do see a difference, but it's more like they look clumpy together. Um, they, I mean, it gives me a little bit of length, but it's not that much. So um, I'm not liking it that much that I'm going to be using for today's video is going to be the Makeup Geek Lashes in Isabella which looks which they look just like this I know I don't know if you guys can see just like this so this doesn't tell you if it's left or right or right and left so I'm just gonna oh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some lashes and I'll be right back Alright guys, so I finished putting on some lashes and I am actually liking these lashes a lot. Um, they are not heavy on the eye whatsoever. Like a geek Isabella's. Um, I'm liking these lashes. Finally something good happened. Um, I'm using the LA Girl Ultimate uh, Lip Liner. And this is in the color Keep It Spice. So I'm going to go ahead and really just fill it in. This pencil is nice. I also sell for $249. $249 for this. And look, they look, I mean, I think they look good, but you know, everybody has their own preference. And then the lip gloss that I'm going to be using is from NYX Butter Gloss, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Madeline. Fresh new packaging. <sighs> and I'm going to. Really? We are finished. We are finished. I'm just gonna go ahead and use again the Marble Rescue spray. Um, if not, you can always use your Morphe setting spray. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, somehow we made it. We made it happen. Um, I was very very scared because after that foundation shade, I was like. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this through, but I feel like it's a little bit light, but it's not too light. I feel like I made it work, um, and I am uh, liking uh, the final result of this affordable drugstore makeup look. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I actually do love and what I don't love. Um, so let's start with the things that I actually like and love. Um, for the first time so i definitely love the la girl keep it spicy lip liner i mean it glided very easily it didn't tug on my lips um and it looks really really good so definitely definitely love this and if you're looking for new lip liners go ahead and check la girl first the thing that i did love was this butter gloss by nyx in the shade madeline elf glitter eyeshadow in the shade flirty birdie it is so pretty like 
look how gorgeous it looks it looks phenomenal like who are we kidding it's not sticky and this the glitter is not like going all over the place um because sometimes with glitter if the um, formula is too watery or too oily it will just end up all over your eyeshadow but it did not separate my eyeshadow at all i don't know if you guys can tell so i definitely recommend this if you're looking for a glitter eyeshadow that is not gonna end up all over your face definitely definitely pick these up you won't be disappointed as far as the things that i did not like was definitely this eyeshadow palette um it definitely did not do it did not meet the expectations that I was looking for. Um, even though it is a drugstore makeup, you know, there's so many great palettes out there. But this one, for me, wasn't one of them, um, which is this orangey color. Was the only one that, that I absolutely love from the palette. Other than that, all the other ones definitely didn't do it for me. And they are also very, very powdery, like very, very powdery. So I don't know if I will ever pick up more of these eyeshadow palettes unless they have improved their eyeshadows and I just got a really old eyeshadow palette. Um, then I'll maybe pick up another one. But for me, this palette was a no-go. Some people absolutely love using primers with mascara. But this one, I feel like it just made my lashes clumpy and it didn't separate them it was just it was just looking too spidery i know some people like this and if you prefer that that is totally okay go for it you love it that's all that matters but for me unfortunately it did not work uh, i just felt like they were just clumping all over the place and that's not what i prefer um so this was a no-go i know that i like the telescopic automatically um it does it but i feel like pairing them together was not very ideal um so i'm gonna say no to this mascara unless i change my mind and i try it more often and i get to play with it more and i end up loving it you never know um but for my first time using this i was not a big fan of it this bronzer is very disappointing one because it's really really big and two because you can't even see you can't even see the shade on my skin and this is in the shade medium and maybe i got a little bit more darker but still like i couldn't even tell in the first place like so it is such a beautiful packaging um but as far as what's inside did not work for me and lastly but not least was this foundation this foundation was totally a failed 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 like what 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 um it was i mean i didn't get to play with it that much so i'm gonna give it a six out of ten um just because it was the wrong shade and i didn't really get to experience it on my skin um longer than one two seconds so I'm saying the 6 out of 10 so I'm gonna try to get a different shade and try it out and see if I like it because maybe I'm gonna love this foundation it just wasn't the right shade for me so I'm just gonna leave this in the back burner and see what I think later on but that guys is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me we definitely fell in some things but overall we overcame it and we got this look all right guys so that is it for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification down below that way you guys can be notified every single time that i upload video and that is every monday and thursday at 3 p.m eastern time yes easter eastern time so make sure to hit that notification bell and that is it for today's video i hope you guys like this final result it was definitely it's kind of cringing to watch at some points but i feel like we pulled through together and we made it happen so don't forget to subscribe and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys See you.